Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Gonna be some more invasion videos this time. I know I kind of Ryan Seacrested you guys, like, check it out after the break, we're gonna be taking on the final boss, but we're not really. We're gonna do some more invasions. Because invading is so much fun, can you blame me? And we are back in Anor Orlando. I actually had half of a video recorded of me invading in the Demon Ruins, but then the game crashed. So I'm not sure if maybe my, my Dark Souls disc is getting a little bit too much play, because it's crashing and freezing more and more frequently. Uh, but, you know, I do have like 200 hours on this disc, so I can understand. Anyway, I will, as always, abuse the power of editing and just fill in the invasions as they come. Phantom, get away from me! Alright, great sword wielding stone armor motherfucker. Surprise, surprise. Um, I do have this new weapon. Well, not really a new weapon, but new to you guys. It's the Titanite Catchpole, so it's the same weapon that the Titanite Demons wield, which I'm hoping will strike fear into the hearts of the people I invade. I've upgraded it to plus five which I believe required Twinkling Titanite. See how much damage it does if I can get a successful parry off here. Of course I failed to invade. My internet is made out of Laffy Taffy. There we go. It does a fair amount of damage then. So we'll try invading again. Uh, as always, I will let you guys know when we do have a successful invasion. I'll let you know by just, you know, putting the video in the next spot in the timeline. So you won't see anything happen, but I assure you that there is off-camera work being done. And we do have our first invasion here, which is awesome. So, I'm hoping to strike fear in their hearts with the Titanite catch pole, but we don't always succeed like that. Cat, get away from me. I'm busy. Uh, daddy's at work. <laughs> I'm the daddy. That sounded way grosser than I imagined it would. Okay, so we got two phantoms, it looks like, over there. Let us let us go and take a look at them. W.S. Black Pearl. We'll just take a look in here in case there's any phantoms hanging out waiting to ambush me. But otherwise... Should be pretty clear which way we're going. The same way we always go. Why is this? Oh! I saw a uh, Sunbro! And of course he's wielding the Black Iron Great Shield. The way... Ah! Uh, eh, nice try! Nice fucking try. What is that guy using? That looks awesome. So I'm gonna try to drag them out here, but they might just close that door and try to keep me locked in. Looks like that's a, a divine... Or maybe not divine. Just a battle axe of some kind. And of course, like everybody in this game, he's wearing some kind of Havel's armor. Come fight me over here, bro. I want to bow to you, but I can't because Mr. Halbert over here is going to just stab me in the back. Alright. Bring it on, motherfucker. And cat, get away from... I'm engaged in heated battle. Stop nuzzling against the microphone. You're going to get your hair in it. It was kind of expensive. I appreciate it. I love you too. Okay. Now, I, if this cat... I just keep walking backwards. This is embarrassing. Don't get on the chair with the microphone. My Mickey Mouse recording setup is going to fall apart. Oh, my God. Oh, get, call the police, the National Guard. That was embarrassing. I blame that entirely on you, Cat, but I can't physically beat you because it would be on camera. I like this dance that these guys are doing. Party on. I wish I could party with you guys. Also, you guys are super cool for wearing Havel's armor. It's not like I see that on everybody else that plays this game. Well, he's only wearing Havel's, Havel's helm. Maybe I'll cut him some slack. Yeah, okay, what is it, cat? Well, I know you guys are thinking that I'm, I'm really playing with my cat, but what if I was, like, schizophrenic and just imagined that I had a cat? Is that how schizophrenia work? I don't know. Skipped a lot of psych in high school. Or in, in college, I should say. Let's murder this guy. Go back and get our blood stain. Titanite catchpole scale with humanity? Or does everything scale with humanity a little bit? It seems like I'm doing a little bit more damage... Uh, when I had, like, 29 loose humanity up there in the top. Oh, no, I'm doing exactly the same amount of damage. My bad. Maybe I just got some kind of critical hit or something. So we'll have to murder this guy. Parrying skills have gotten pretty good. From just continually farming these silver knights over and over. Alright, recover lost power, and we'll do another invasion. Let's check my messages. I always like to see if I'm getting hate mail from guys that actually beat me. Because I am predominantly losing the invasions now. Dude, I'm stuck on the Four Kings on New Game Plus. They are kicking my ass. You are 100% right. That boss is a bitch on New Game Plus. I believe that's uh, Get the Funk Out 446 from the comments. Maybe 46. I can't remember. Too many numbers. Can't keep them all in my brain. I'm falling out of my ears. What was I going to say? Oh, it's actually cool. Uh, I can tell a story while I'm just waiting for this invasion to work. I invaded some guy in the Demon Ruins last night. And remember that you're invading up, so in an area like the Demon Ruins, I don't know how high a level he was, but I got a lot of souls when I beat him, so spoilers. 
Uh, his name was Jack the Flapper, I think. So if you ever run into him, super good guy. Just like a nice guy to be dueling with. Very courteous. We fought for literally 40 minutes. Like I was popping humanity. He definitely used all of his Estus flasks. Uh, I dropped a bunch of cracked red eye orbs from him, and I eventually, eventually beat him, even though he probably should have beaten me. And uh, then he sent me a message earlier today, which is like, took out my frustration from that loss last night on a bunch of noobs with those cracked red eye orbs. So, you know, good guy. These are the kind of friendships Dark Souls fosters. If I ever find Dark Spear, the Horn of Plenty again, I'm going to insert my Titanite Catchpole deeply inside of his rectum, and then twist it so that the flesh will never grow back, right? But as for right now... I guess we are just going to... I need humanity. Today's your lucky day, buddy. We are just going to wait, and I will use the power of edit. Alright, here we go. Invasion number two. Of course, it's always after I say I'm going to use the power of editing that, like, two seconds later I get an invasion. If I had just kept up a train of thought for, like, another 15 seconds, I wouldn't have to do any editing. God damn it! Future me, I'm apologizing to you right now, because I know you're going to be doing this at, like, two in the morning. Go, oh my god, why do I ever do this? Oh, hey. There they are, right there. These guys are doing a lot of damage to that Silver Knight, which frightens me. Uh, and there's definitely a couple of... Oh my god! Okay, praise be to the sun. I'm gonna bow to you, even though it's against my better judgment. Because I'm pretty sure this guy's just gonna buttfuck me. What is... Oh, he took a green stamina! That's so bad! He's like a permanent stamina regen. And of course he's got a great sword, and he's just like circling around trying to butt hurt me. Alright, uh, it's yet another gang rape in the annals of Northern Lion. You know, I hate to say this, because it's making this look like the Let's Play, especially the invasion part, is just the, the evolution of a twink, or the creation of a twink, because I uh, started out being like super honorable, now I bow and get gang fucked by like three people all the time. This kind of shit is why people make twinks. So for everybody who complains about the existence of twinks, I agree with you, they're taking it out on the wrong person, they, they're taking it out on new players. But, you know, they're doing that because they've had so much bullshit done to them during invading. And I guess it's not bullshit, because invading is inherently unfair, because you're forcing themselves into their world. And they're, you could say they're evening in the odds, but I think they're stacking the odds a little bit too far in their favor. Which I, I think we're starting to witness me being like, fuck it, I could just make a low-level character, go back to Undead Parish, and slay noobs all day long. And then of course, so if you're if you're angry at twinks, it's like the abused become abusers when they grow up later in life. That's that's my my meta analysis here. Any ah, uh, I was just gonna say I was gonna use the power of editing. You almost got me, game. Hopefully it's the same guy. I don't remember his name. There's no reason to be angry at those guys. They were fighting fair. Kind of. I just I'm so sick of invading people who are using like great swords. Oh, Dark Anna Orlando, fantastic. I actually had a really good duel in Dark Anna Orlando yesterday. J-Rock before B. Uh, I bet you this dude doesn't regret his gamer tag at all. So we're going to try to find out where he is. Had some weird invasions in Dark Anna Orlando too, which are always funny to capture on camera. Let's see what we got going on here. Yo, part of my... I find I invade so much better at night than when I invade during the day. Like, right now it's noon on a Friday. Anybody playing Dark Souls PvP at noon on a Friday is probably pretty damn good. When I play, like, when people are done work or something and then they come home and they haven't put 500 hours into this game. It makes it much easier to just fish for a backstab or something. Alright, I'm going to take a look in this uh, courtyard here. Otherwise, I might just separate myself from this world. Like, go back to my home world. Oh, I think that's him. This guy's got some real gravitas about this battle, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, good crystal magic weapon. Yeah, uh, spare no expense. I'm going to bow to you, but I'm pretty sure the sorceries are going to hit me. Anyone else see something weird going on over there? Oh, it's the elevator. Okay. I believe he did a, a kneel as well, so we're good. We can fight now. Uh, he's got crystal magic weapon, which is going to make his weapon inflict bleed and also do like a fuck ton of damage. And also, homing crystal soul mass, which is annoying as hell. So this guy's basically gonna gang fuck me. Um, spoilers. Unless he's terrible. Wow, uh, I got really lucky with that attack. And of course he's gonna Estus as well. Two-hand crystal weapon. This should be doing, like, a sad amount of damage to me. It's possible that this guy sucks, though. Should be great for me. Yeah, Estus up again. Super fair, man. 
It's different, like, I totally fine to use Estus if, like, you're just trying to beat the boss or something. Look at I almost have bleed inflicted already. Uh, but if you're just summoning for PvP and you're using Estus, that's a dick move. Okay, his crystal magic weapon is done. Looks like he's using maybe the Ayato, or Ayato, whatever it's called. So he's going to start spamming sp sorceries, I think, because he's probably a little bit nervous about how this is going now that his main attack is pretty much neutered. Uh, not that he's not doing a lot of damage to me, because that is inflicting a lot of bleed. I'm probably going to lose this invasion just because he's going to continually heal over and over. So, like, if, if it was no healing, I would probably come out on top here, because this guy doesn't... He's, he's got the equipment to pay the bills, but he doesn't have the skills, you know? Oh! One more... Ah, if I had just gotten to him faster, it would have worked. I'm also all out of humanity, so I can't, uh... Can't really do much to him right now. This guy's not very good. But that's fine. He's got, he's got good equipment, though. Oh, maybe I'll get fucking lucky. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, at least he was honorable. I can bow to that. That was a good fight. Pleasure to win one where uh, it looked like I was going to lose for once. I was indicted. <laughs> That's actually a good thing. Uh, when Dark Raids get indicted, essentially it's an item that you can use to make someone a sinner. And sinners are more highly invaded by Dark Moons. The, the blue phantoms, which we haven't actually run into. Because I don't sin that much. You, when you kill NPCs, that's essentially considered sinning. Uh, or you betray your covenant. So that's cool that I got indicted. It is kind of... <laughs> I fought fair, so I was a little bit offended. But I guess that's a good thing, because it increases my chances of someone invading my world for some PvP. Good fight, though. I was happy with that one. Let's make sure my computer doesn't fall asleep. And then we will just invade another world. That's awesome. That guy's, I wonder if he's going to send me a hate message. Probably not, because that was a good fight. But, you know, I love getting hate messages uh, in Dark Souls, because they're always the funniest shit. And if you weren't a Dark Souls player, it wouldn't make any sense. Like, I got one when I was co-oping with someone. We were two versus one versus an invader, and we buttfucked them. So, you know, I'm not always the victim in those situations. And he sent me a message, and it was like, It was a fucking 1v1, you sunbro autistic cum juggler. I wonder if that's gone past. It is probably more than 30 days old, which sucks, but... Uh, which means it's deleted. I should have archived that shit. It was... Oh, God! <laughs> okay, he's full channeler set, which means someone has dropped that for him, or he's been to the Duke's archives. That's a cool, uh... Cool mace, though. I haven't seen that before. Now, I don't know if there's, like, phantoms in the game right now, so I should be looking behind me to see if someone's fishing for a backstab. Oh, of course! Homing Crystal Soul Max. Pro Dodge! Not such a pro dodge. This guy, his homing crystal soul mass did like nothing. You know what? Get away. He's probably going to spam me with sorceries. I want to bow to him. Bow to your sensei! Oh, that hurt like a motherfucker. Alright, so we're going to try to fish for a backstab, which is a cheap tactic, but I don't really have much else going for me. At this point, this guy, he's, I like this guy. He's got a unique set. You almost never see what he's wearing right now. Ooh, that, that could have hurt. Just a lucky roll on my part. Uh, I mean, you you often see the dark wood grain ring, which is what he's wearing to do those, like, ninja rolls. Sorcery is, generally speaking, overpowered in PvP, so he should be doing a little bit better than he is. Maybe my skills have just improved. <laughs> I don't know why he's not engaging me in melee. It looks like he has kind of a cool weapon. Maybe he doesn't do that much damage. He's fast as shit, though. He's also a little scaredy cat. Oh, who's a little scaredy cat? Alright, he's probably going to be spamming. So oh, God! <laughs> Very clever. What is up with this guy's armor, though? He's clearly... He's wearing Ornstein's armor. Like, Chandler's helm and Ornstein's set, apart from that. So, obviously, he's had someone, like, gift him equipment. Or he's using the bottomless box glitch. Or he... I don't know. That's weird, though. Very unusual. Interesting fight, though. Let's go back and get our bloodstain. That's why I like just hanging out here. So I can just pick up my bloodstain immediately. When I was invading in the Demon Ruins, it was a pain in the ass. Because you, you know, go back to Firelink Shrine. Warp from Firelink Shrine to the Chaos Daughters, which is um, where that like weird egg guy and spider lady are. Uh, take the elevator down, and then you can invade right next to Demon Fire Sage. But it's like a two-minute walk using the elevator, which is a pain in the ass. And Orlando, you die, you respawn your bloodstains right there. So now I will, you know, no, no faking out here. I will use the power of editing game. Wink, wink, that means you should make me invade right now. I will use the power of editing 
Ah, fuck it, okay. I will see you guys whenever the next invasion happens here. Fuck tables! Ah, here we go. Finally got another invasion. So, I haven't really used my Titanite catch pull that much. It's honestly because I don't feel that confident in its moveset. Its moveset is super, super slow. Maybe if I run into some guy using like the Drake Sword or the Lightning Spear, I'll have a good opportunity. Because otherwise my Uchikatana would probably stomp them. But, I mean, let's, let's not talk about stomps. Grey Chimera, spelled out with numbers. That's how you know he's like MLG. And we will look for him. I shouldn't shit talk before we actually get into the fight. Because I'm like, oh, what a nice gamer tag, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, you backstab me, I'm dead. So he looks like he's probably up in the Solaire room. With the two Royal Sentinels, which is cool. Makes him easy to find. And this is another reason that I love An Orlando PvP. Because there's really like only two routes that people take through the, uh, through the start of the game here. Oh, the Sentinels are dead. Which means he's probably waiting at the fog door. Ah, and he's got Solaire. Let's bow first, because I'm pretty sure he sees me. Or he's getting his dick sucked by Solaire. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, here we go. Yeah, spam some sorceries at me. That's cool, bro. Just gonna hide behind this wall. I'm trying to see his weapon. I think it may actually be the Drake Sword. And we might get a chance to fight Solaire here, which is cool. That's not a Drake Sword. That is a Demon King Great Axe, or Black Knight Great Axe. Fuck that. I'm so sick of fighting these guys. Like, one hit and they stun lock you, because obviously my character isn't totally built for PvP. But I can fuck with this guy's day and maybe kill Solaire, which would be awesome. Why are you even summoning Solaire for this boss fight? It's clear that you have the skills and the equipment required to do it yourself. Just make Solaire waste all his lightning spears. Spam some pyromancy. Oh god! <laughs> Solaire, fight me like a man! There you go. Okay. Let's do this! Obviously, he probably does. Ah, oh, Solaire hits like a ton of bricks. Obviously, he doesn't want me to kill his main bro. Just <clears throat> sensible, but I'm trying to insinuate hey, buddy. Let this guy come at me 1v1. Say that in the street, not on the internet. See what happens. That demon or uh, Black Knight Great Axe will hurt like a fucking ton of bricks. Solaire is probably pretty dumb. I bet I can get him to come out here and fight these Sentinels. Ah, Solaire, you're smarter than I thought you were. Also, you have almost full health. Jesus Christ, how did that happen? I'm gonna lose this. Um, almost no question. Maybe I can fuck with them though. Ah, that goddamn Soul Spear hurts like a ton of bricks. I'm not sure if that is Soul Spear, actually. I have no options, essentially, in this fight right now. What can I do? I want to fight Solaire 1v1. I want to not get butt-fucked by this demon... I always say a demon Great Axe, but it's not. It's uh, definitely Black Knight Great Axe. <clears throat> Only recourse, maybe, is a lucky backstab on the host, but he's definitely... Uh, he's playing it smart, spamming... Uh, spells right here. Kick took a lot of my stamina off. I, I, like, I gotta try for a backstab. That's pretty much all I got right now. Looks like his internet might be super slow. Because he is not, you know, doing what one would expect. Let's put it that way. At the very least, I can aggravate him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, Solaire got me. I'm so sick of 2v1s. I mean, it's not your fault. Grey Chimera. It's totally your fault for taking a stupid ass gamer tag, but uh, that fight was that fight was fine. You look like my Bel a Belmont from Castlevania or something. All this all this invading is giving me time for reflection. I think I need to build like just a bitch ass character, powerful sorceries, and uh, just a great sword constantly. Two handed great sto great sword and you know, constantly spamming soul spear or homing crystal soul mass. Because this guy was just like, hey, I want to join the Dark Raids for the first time. That'll be cool, right? I can finally get some uh, multiplayer in. Because, again, being summoned takes like 25 minutes between each thing. And now I'm like, okay, I'm over the novelty of invading. And I'm definitely over the novelty of getting my ass handed to me in these 2v1s constantly. Even if one of them is an NPC. Now, winning a 2v1 feels awesome. I've done that, I think, maybe once. I've won a 3v1 once, too. Believe it or not. One of them was, uh, was Solaire, though. And again, I guess we'll abuse the power of 
movie editing, and I will see you. We might as well do another invasion or two. Fuck tables. I'll see you once this invasion gets going. Oh yeah, we got another invasion. And I have changed my armor to look as humorous as possible. <laughs> I'll talk about this once we actually get into the game. Um, this is the Xanthus set. X-A-N-T-H-O-U-S. I believe you pick it up in the Painted World, uh, but in my Painted World videos, I actually didn't go down to the spot where you get to it. Uh, this is gonna make this invasion pretty funny, because I can't see what the fuck is going on. Okay, Gangster Rule. That sounds familiar. Is that Solaire? Uh, oh, it's a guy dressed in Solaire's armor. Probably laughing his ass off right now, using a Quaylog's Fury Sword. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts bad. <laughs> Daddy, stop the pain! Oh, and his bro is you. What kind of stamina does this guy have? His buddy's got the Grants and the Ring of Fog, so these guys know what they're doing, and I don't. So, this is probably the end of my life. At least I died looking handsome. Like a fucking gold Q tip. Yeah, do the well, what is it gesture. You're super cool, buddy. So cool. Who'd you have to kill to get that armor? <laughs> get it? Because you, you have to kill Solaire. Alright, I, I want to do like a real invasion like that. If I was a new player and someone invaded me looking like this, I would be like, damn, this guy knows what he's doing. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> I feel like I should wield something really fucking stupid in conjunction with this. Um, what do I have that's stupid? Demon Spear might look funny. Do I have the notched whip or something? The whip is so bad. Oh man, I'm not sure I want to do that actually. The whip is so, so bad. <clears throat> Let's just continue invading with what we got. This, this is a horrifying creature. The Reckoning is coming for you, next person that I invade, which will probably be the last invasion in the video. How could this, like, be an effective suit of armor? Look at my torso is exposed, which is nice because I've been doing a lot of crunches. Uh, but, like, my face is just wrapped up tight, probably can't even breathe. It seems very unwieldy to have this enormous mass of cloth on my head. Does it sway back and forth when I move? Kinda. Not really. I don't think those are realistic cloth physics. I, they're lucky I can fit through the door. Anyway, as always, I will. I, I can't get over how stupid this looks. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, as always, I will use some editing here, and you will see the results of that. The fruits of mine labor. Not like a pregnancy. Ah, I knew it. I knew if I just kept talking, I could fake the game out. All right, who is going to face my wrath today? B apart from, you know, United Furniture Warehouse and all the tables they made for this oca occasion. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully not the same guy. What was his name again? MLG Pro 360 No Scope guy? Pretty clever on my part, right? Shano! 418. I've already killed the previous 417 Shanos. So you are in for a surprise, buddy. Where is this guy? I saw I saw a health bar appear somewhere. But there's no way he could be through here and not aggro that black knight. How does that happen? Silver knight. My mistake. I don't see color. So where is this guy? There's no way to get through here without aggroing that knight. But I saw the health bar. Einhorn is Finkel? Ooh. Okay, so that guy hasn't been aggroed either. He wasn't in the bonfire room. This guy hasn't been aggroed. These guys haven't been aggroed. What the heck's going on? I guess I'll just head down to the Royal Sentinel room. See what the fuck is up. He's probably scared of my sweet hat. I know most people are. Especially girls. So, we'll come into this room. How about this archer? Ah! 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 I found you, motherfucker! I don't know how you got past that silver knight, but that was, you know, well done on your part. So he's summoning Solaire, which is... bad, because I don't want to fight all of them at once. But Solaire's kind of dumb. This guy's using a lightning spear, which means... If I can fight Solaire 1v1, I should be able to stomp this guy with the Lightning Spear. 
Just get Solaire to get rid of all his lightning spears. <laughs> Sunlight spears. They're called lightning spears, man. I don't know what you want from me. Alright, this guy. This fucking guy right here. Probably shitting his pants. What kind of hat is that? I want one. I can, I'm gonna let this guy heal. I'm not worried about him that much. Solaire's a pain in the ass, though. Don't fish for a backstab. I just let you heal, man. I wonder if this guy's ever seen Pyromancy. There's such a difference between, like, super low skill. Oh, he's definitely seen Pyromancy. Solaire's glitching out, just switching weapons back and forth. Uh, so I am just going to go to town on the host. Still should be a fairly easy victory, one would assume. Oh, and I'm getting cocky and getting killed, potentially. I would <laughs> Solaire, what are you doing, man? Better run, motherfucker. This guy's probably got 10 Estes. Because apparently he didn't have to fight any Silver Knights to get to where he is. I don't even want to look at Solaire. Dude's going to make me throw up. This guy's probably being like, Solaire, what are you doing, man? I summoned you to save my life. This is over for you, but you can circle as long as you want. Slayer actually hit me, but otherwise he's just doing that like breaking dance. Where you? Oh, you're you're so backstabbed. You don't even know it. Fuck you. Actually, you were pretty nice. I'm sorry I had to do that. Feels good though. Feels good to win. Slayer, don't even come over here with your shield switching bullshit, buddy. I've had enough of you. Oh, there you go. You finally fixed it. Congratulations. Now this is the awkward part where we just look at each other after I've assassinated his best friend. How's it going, man? Yeah, me too. Not too much. Just thinking about Dark Souls stuff, I guess. You know what? Fuck it. One more invasion. That was fun. I don't feel like I want to kill everyone in the world. Uh, that was a stomp, which actually feels good to get on camera for once. To let people know that, you know, even when I do fight new players, I, I don't lose. It, that My sentence didn't make any sense, but pretend that it did and we'll all be happy. So I'm just going to keep rambling here and hopefully the game will decide to give me an invasion. I hope that wasn't that guy's last humanity. If I don't beat Ornstein and Smo this time, I'm gonna commit suicide. Dark Spear and Northern Lion has invaded in his bitchin' ass hat. Oh no. How am I gonna tell my family? I the role playing got really dark there. Let's continue using our red eye orb. And then we'll just uh, I guess continue rambling here. Kind of lost my train of thought. Let's talk about the Let's Play a little bit. We're basically we're done. I have one more episode to do, which is the uh, killing of the first flame and the final boss. And I'll show off whatever ending I choose. I'm not sure which one I am going to choose yet. Honestly, the endings are kind of disappointing from like a traditional RPG sense because they are... God damn, I can't see what's going on. Because uh, they're like 30 seconds long and they don't really have any exposition, but that's the way the Dark Souls story works. So, you know, I know a lot of people are going to see the endings and be like, what the fuck was that? I played through 50 hours just to see that? Or I watched 13 hours of Northern Lands Let's Play just for that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I did a, not such a great job explaining the story because you have to read a lot of item descriptions for it to work effectively. There we go. Finally got another invasion as I was leaning over to make sure my computer didn't fall asleep. Uh, the other thing is, invasion videos I don't think are going to go anywhere anytime soon. I'm having a lot of fun with these. I can't promise that once the Let's Play is over, there's going to be a Dark Souls video every day, as there has been for, you know, 29 of the last 30 days. But, you know, I'll try to do invasions when I can, because I'm really enjoying this game. I haven't decided what my next Let's Play will be yet. Excess Gravitas. Okay, the guy's got a verbose vocabulary, which makes me think maybe he's good at Dark Souls. Or maybe that's just a mind game he's playing. Maybe it's like a... Immortal Technique lyric or something that I don't know. Thought that was him for a second. Of course, it was a phantom wielding a great sword. Surprise, surprise. Alright, come up here. Oh, God! Spider shield, lightning spear. Uh, this guy's pretty much just come straight from Blight Town, I guess. As well as his um, Wanderer set. Let's see what we can do with a Titanite catch pole here. This is a horrifying weapon to fight against. Shouldn't underestimate him. That might kill him in one shot, honestly. 590, nah. Let him heal up. He's a nice guy. Back up, buddy. I want to heal up. Don't... Oh, he went to the dashboard. And now he's moonwalking out of here. See you later. Fuck you, man. I was just about to drop some items for you. 
Are you in here? What's going on? Such a dick move. Excess gravitas. Pussy. Pussy. And the whole world gets to see it. I, wow, I took that a little bit too far. Sorry, cyberbullying is not a joke. But as always, that's a, a perfect note to end off on. Excess gravitas, thanks for ruining my video, buddy. Um, hopefully you never see this. <laughs> As always, thank you guys for watching. Everything that I say is in jest, if you're actually watching this and I'm insulting you. Just a video game, bro. You should see how hard people rage, myself included, when they play Dota. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.